Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, I'm Tabitha with Moonlight Custom Creations and today I'm going to show you how to do a V-Split Patriotic Tumblr. So go ahead, stay tuned, watch the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright y'all, I have a 20 ounce skinny from Maker Flow Craft. I will have my link for them down in the description box below. I sanded it down with 80 grit sandpaper and I sprayed painted it with Rust-Oleum Flat White. What we're going to do here is I have this painter's tape. We are going to mask off a V and this is going to be our guide for our V split. So what I like to do is I just, I start down at the bottom and I like to eyeball it and then I will take off the excess on the top. I will make sure everything is laying down. That way I don't have any bubbles or anything or anything can seep underneath of this V split. Now, once I got one side, I'm going to cross over the bottom again and making sure that there is a point right at the bottom of the tumbler. And then I like to flip my tumbler over and then just roll up the painter's tape. I'm holding one side with my thumb and I want to connect the other side of the painter's tape all the way around to where the other side is connected. I did have to flip it over and start from the top because that was a little bit easier, but you want a V on both sides of the tumbler. One looking like a normal V and the other one upside down. And that's what it should look like after you get it all taped off. So on one side, it's going to be completely blue and then the other side will be our red and white stripes. Now I'm just using my fingers and I'm making sure that the, the points are on the same side of the tumbler, just making sure that everything is even. All right, so now we're just going to go in and we're going to do the solid color first. So we're gonna go ahead and go in and do our blue side first. I have some Mod Podge right here. I'm using the matte. You can use matte or gloss, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to put a decent coat of Mod Podge on this side of the tumbler, making sure that I don't get it over the painter's tape, like over that edge. You can get it on the painter's tape, that's completely fine. Now, once you have it a nice even coat, we're gonna go in with Cobalt from the Glitter Grind, and this is their fine, or their ultra fine. And you're gonna coat this side of the tumbler with this Cobalt. I absolutely love this blue. This is one of my favorite blues. And I believe this blue is the perfect patriotic blue. Now I'm just gonna go in here and touch up any spots that I may have missed or that I could see white through. Now I'll also leave my link for the glitter grind down in the description box below as well. Now after you're done applying the blue, I like to leave mine and let it dry for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And then I will go over to the next side and start on my stripes. Now that our other side has dried, we can go ahead and start marking off our striping. I'm going to start with a little piece of painter's tape at the very top of the V. And this is just gonna be our guide for where I'm going to start the red. So now I'm going to butt this other painter's tape, piece of painter's tape up against that first piece. And now I'm gonna peel the first piece off and I'm going to butt that up against the piece that I had just put on there. I am taping off the white. So it's going to look like lines throughout the tumbler, but I'm just using that little piece as a guide. That way I know the spacing is the same with every stripe. And you wanna make sure that the painter's tape is adhered to the surface. You don't want to anything to bleed underneath the painter's tape. So I'm just pressing firmly as soon as I get each section done, making sure that the painter tape is sticking very well. Now that we're done applying our painter's tape, you can go through and cut off any of those longer pieces that you may have. And I do go through one more time just to make sure that my painter tape, my painter's tape is sticking all the way down. Because right in through here, you're not gonna have any vinyl striping or anything, so you want these lines very, very crisp. Now that we have everything sectioned off, we're gonna go in with Rocket's Red Glare from the Glitter Grind and this little angled paintbrush here. I'm gonna dip it in my Mod Podge and I'm going to just paint on the exposed areas that I have here. I'm starting at the top of the tumbler and working my way to the bottom. You can start at the bottom if you want to. It doesn't really matter. 
I just like working from the top down. Now with this, you don't have to be super neat about it because you have that painter's tape there as your guides. So you can get it on the painter's tape if you need to. It doesn't really matter on this application. Just try to be careful on going over to the blue. <laughs> Now on here, you could also mix a little bit of acrylic, like red acrylic paint in with your Mod Podge to give you that red base as you put on the Rockets Red Glare, because I did end up going in and putting on two coats of the Rockets Red Glare, because you could still see the white through it. Now, if you would have put some acrylic paint in with the Mod Podge, you wouldn't have had to do a second coat. And then I went back in with my Mod Podge, put it over the glitter, and added another coat on there. Now that we have our stripes on there, I'm gonna go down and as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap at the very, very bottom. I am gonna go in with my paintbrush and carefully, without trying to get it on the bottom here, just swipe some Mod Podge on that bottom little stripe there and that's going to be the last of our red. At the very bottom, I'm going to be doing a different glitter color. So you wanna make sure that you're not getting any of the red on the bottom. And you wanna make sure that you tap off all the excess glitter. Now what I like to do is I like to set this aside for about 15, 20 minutes before I pull any of the painter's tape off. All right, now that our red has dried, we can. I went ahead and pulled the painter's tape off and we're gonna go in with the white. Now I'm using the Mod Podge method to apply it and I'm going the white that I'm going to be using is diamonds from the glitter gray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge in my little container here and I'm using the same paintbrush. I'm just gonna dip it in my Mod Podge and I'm gonna very, very carefully, this is where you have to be really careful when applying your Mod Podge. You want it to get butted up right up against the Rocket's Red Glare, but you don't want it to get on Rocket's Red Glare. You want a nice, crisp line. Now here you could also put the painter's tape over top of the rock, Rocket's Red Glare since it's dried and it will be completely fine whenever you go to pull it up and if you need that as a guide, it's perfectly okay to go ahead and do that. I just go ahead, do it freehand, and make sure that I butt it up against there and that it's a nice, crisp, straight line. I also do one section at a time. So I will do this section, glitter it, and then move on to the next section. Once you get done glittering with the diamonds, you can go ahead and pull off the painter's tape for the V-split. So I'm struggling to find it here. <laughs> and you just want to pull it off of there. I like to pull it really slowly because I don't want a chance on pulling up any of the glitter. Now that you have the painter's tape off, you're gonna have these exposed areas here. And we are going to take our paintbrush, dip it in some Mod Podge, and we're going to coat the entire bottom of this tumbler. We're going to use Interstellar at the bottom of the tumbler but you just wanna make sure that you get in all the nooks and crannies of the bottom of the tumbler. So I do like some tapping motions and some just going against the swirl of the tumbler, <laughs> if I can find my words. But I am very, very careful at the bottom edge of the tumbler. Now that the bottom of the tumbler is coated, you wanna just go in with the interstellar and make sure that you have a really good coat at the bottom. Now that you have the bottom completed, we can go in with the V. Now I did create my own little custom mix here. I did use the mix of Cobalt, Interstellar, and Dr. Love. Now all of these are chunky mixes and I just put them all together in this little container here until I found the mixture that I liked. And that's what we're going to use to put in this V split. So same thing as when you were doing the striping with the white and the interstellar at the bottom, you want to be very, very careful whenever you're applying the Mod Podge in these areas. Same as before, you could also take a piece of painter's tape and butt that up there, have a guide. That way you don't go over on the Rockets Red Glare or the Diamonds. And this part is completely up to you. You could either freehand it or you can use some painter's tape. But you do want to make sure that you're being really careful on where you're putting your Mod Podge. And when I tell you this mix is the perfect 4th of July mix, I truly mean it. It is stunning. 
absolutely stunning. It just reminds me of the 4th of July. <laughs> Gives me 4th of July vibes. Now, when we're done with our V-split, I do let this set for at least a couple hours before I go in with my sealant. So I'm going to let this sit for at least a couple hours. And then I have a makeup brush where I just brush off any glitter that may not be adhered to the surface. You want to make sure that you get any excess glitter off before you go to spray it because you don't want any glitter transferring to the diamonds or to any other color here. I like to seal my glitter with Rust-Oleum two times clear, and I will do that at least two to three times before I go in with epoxy. And this is what your tumbler is going to look like after you get done glittering the entire thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to seal this two to three times with Rust-Oleum two times clear, let it completely dry, and then go in with your first coat of epoxy. All right, now I did put two coats of epoxy on here and I did sand it down so where it's nice and smooth. And then I looked up and realized, oh my goodness, I'm not recording as I was putting the stars on. So I've started off with three stars so far. <laughs> and this vinyl is actually a Cricut brand vinyl and I just cut this out with my Cricut. Now, what I do end up doing, I do end up adding some more stars to the top row. But I started off with three just to see exactly how I wanted to place everything because I know I wanted a row of stars and then I kind of wanted them a little staggered and then all the way down to where there's just one star at the bottom. So that's basically what I'm doing here is I'm just getting the stars and I am placing them on the tumbler on the blue side. And the spacing, I didn't need them that far apart. So I am placing these by hand, one by one. And it was just a fantastic time. I'm just kidding. It wasn't. It was kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> but <laughs> in the end, I love the way how I love how it turned out. So that's all that matters, right? It turned out right. <laughs> so basically right in through here, you just want to place the stars however you want to place them. You can make them a little bit bigger. Now, I do wish I would have made them just a tad bit smaller because as I get towards the end, I was only able to do one star and then one star when I really wanted to do like two and then one. After I got all the way down at the bottom, I didn't have enough room. The stars were a little bit too big. So next time, I would definitely kind of size the stars a little bit smaller, just a tad bit, so I know that they would all fit how I had imagined this design to go. <laughs> Now that we have all the stars placed how we want them to be placed, we can go in with our vinyl striping. Now I have this beautiful holographic vinyl from Courtney's Customs, and I will have a link for her down in the description box below. Definitely go check out her vinyl. It's absolutely amazing. So easy to weed. I know y'all are probably sick of me ranting about it, but you know. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I did cut out some strips of vinyl and I'm pretty sure it was 0 0.04 by 11 and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Now the strips are too long, but I do, I did want them longer. That way I can cut the V splits. So I'm just butting them up right along the custom mix that I made up against the blue to create that V split right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, butting it up against the blue and the custom color that I had mixed up. And I'm pressing firmly as I'm walking it down the tumbler. Now I do crisscross them down at the bottom and I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut off the X. I do like running my thumb all throughout the vinyl just to be sure that it's sticking and adhering to the surface. And that's going to be the start of our outline for our V-split. Now you're going to do the same exact thing on the other side, but this time you're going to butt it up against the custom mix and then the stripes. Running your finger as you're walking it up 
the tumbler. And then you will have the two pieces of vinyl crossing at the top of the tumbler. And this is what your tumbler is going to look like when you get done with all of the decal work, the stars and the vinyl striping. Now I do seal this with Rust-Oleum two times clear and I let it dry. Now that the Rust-Oleum two times clear is dried and I know our vinyl is sealed very well to the surface, we're gonna go in with 20 milliliters of epoxy here and we're going to make sure that we have a nice even coat of epoxy all over our tumbler, making sure that we get very good coverage all over the decals and to where our finger just glides over the surface. You don't want to put too much, but you don't want to put not enough either. Now what you're going to do with this tumbler is you're going to finish it off with two coats of epoxy and it will be ready to go. All right, y'all, this is our finished tumbler. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I really hope this video inspired you to recreate this tumbler or make something similar. I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.